Shame TV East Watch, your host here, Derek Jones. If you haven't noticed, um, there's been a new fraud to come on across the radar. Shame TV East Watch, you know we don't lay down. You know we don't allow these frauds to move along. So the fraud in question today is the California Crumb, better known as Crackhead Kev, sometimes known as Dusty Boy Number One, and his last name, which is a new name for him, new nickname, the Radioactive Fuck Nigga. Now, I did a video last night addressing this Kev Gill situation. He's over on his page, I guess, putting out info all day about me and other people. He supposedly had my Facebook up. Ooh. Not knowing that my Facebook is um, something that anyone can go look at. All you have to do is type in my name and there it is. <laughs> so I don't know what you were supposing, supposedly exposing but nevertheless, we will continue. Now, after I posted this video, Black News 102 came on in the comment section, as you see. If you go to the video on Shame TV East Watch and you press the little icon for Black News 102, you will notice that it truly is Sonetta's page. It will lead you right to his page. So it is not a troll page. Now, it's time to lay the hammer down it's time to expose these frauds for who they really are for over a year Kev Gills has been talking shit about Sarnetta and Polite and many others but in particular Sarnetta and Polite once Kev Gills McDonald's Wi-Fi stealing ass got exposed for being a fraud that he is owing people and nigga you owe somebody a horse too <laughs> god damn this nigga owe niggas a horse you owe niggas horses frigid spinners sneakers uh um dinner tickets <laughs> like what the fuck don't you owe niggas at least at even polite ain't never crossed the realm of owing a nigga a goddamn horse what the fuck you work at the track now kev Wait a minute, you ain't worked in almost two years. Remember what you said? You was just sitting home being a bum until your YouTube page jumped off with the help of Salima and Tasha and Tawana, etc. cetera. Uh, Cole Gates, everyone else, shots fired. So we'll move on from that. We'll save that again for another rant. But in, this video in particular is about the connection between Sarnetta and Kev Gills, the unknown connection finally discovered. That's what I might title the video. Sarnetta and Kev Gills, unknown connection finally discovered. Now, you hear Sarnetta came to defend his friend. And I'll read, if you can't see it yourself. Nigger, you better leave my son alone before I come out there and fuck your bitch ass up, pussy. Kev Gills is my little brother, chump. Now, Sarnetta, I didn't know that Kev Gills was really your son. I had just said that and being funny. I didn't know you guys were really working together. So, I'm going to leave you out of this, Sarnetta, for now. Yo, you've played your role in this video. Shame TV East Watch and for anyone who would like to see the comments yourself. But Kev, you been fucking with, uh, with Sa all this time, bro? I wonder if Pharaoh know that young Pharaoh know that you been fucking with the ni main nigga who been calling his mom a bitch, who been calling Seti mom a bitch, who been basically stalking this nigga, uh, harassing him because he doesn't want to be a part of his platform and um, Calling the police on him, trying to get him a... Is that why you came out and made that video, Kev? Trying to get Farrell locked up too, saying he was a murderer? 
there's a lot of uncovering that we have to go through with Kev Gills because Kev Gills masterfully hid his true intentions and who he really was. And now that we know that he's been working with Sarnetta all this time, where does that leave Kev Gills? Where does that leave you, Kev? What are we supposed to think of you now? We already know now that you a crybaby and you like to take your ball and go home whenever things don't work out, you know, the way you want them to. Like any typical um, bipolar, um, spoiled-ass crack baby. But Sarnetta, bro? All this time you were working with Sarnetta? Is that why you never went hard on Sarnetta like I did? Hmm, that's interesting. Were you just trying to lure young Pharaoh in so that you could uh, so that you could basically um, expose whatever secrets Pharaoh may have revealed to you to Sarnetta? Shame TV East Watch. We're going to have to dive deeper, guys. This is new information, breaking news here on Shame TV. Kev Gills has been working with Sarnetta all this time. So says Sarnetta. Kev Gills has been has been screaming Pharaoh's name like a groupie. Every video he puts up, though Pharaoh never mentions this nigga, but he's been screaming Pharaoh's name for months. And all the while he's been working with the enemy of young Pharaoh. All the while he's been working with the enemy of the new conscious community. So now we know why you're attacking me. Now it's starting to make sense, Kevin. So um, since Kev finally got real Wi-Fi now, I think he has a cable bill now since that settlement he got from fraud in the um, Los Angeles gov um, city saying that he couldn't work anymore. And he's lying because he even told me he was lying. But that's neither here nor there. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to have to dive deeper and get more information. Um, the fraud department is on it. And when I say the fraud department people, I mean the real fraud department. I'm not talking about the host of the fraud department. See, Kev Gills was the host of the fraud department. Me, Zachariah Latney, your biggest story. Me, which was provided by me. Um, me, and especially... The other sisters that he banned and talked shit about for no reason other than it was a Wednesday um, are the real fraud department. All the information that you've seen on that show, that's none of that is his. And if he says so, we'll put him on a lie detector test and watch him fail because he knows it wasn't his. So Shane TV East Watch, we've got more work to do. This fraud shit has gone deeper than we thought. The fraud department, yes, is in cahoots with Black News 102. And here is your proof right here. Sarnetta coming to defend Kev Gills after Kev Gills attacked me. Now I know why he's attacking me and Tasha and everyone else because we were banging on his father, Sarnetta.